we're talking about the buck boost converter and how to calculate the critical inductance value. And the critical inductance is when it's operating right in boundary conduction mode or BCM. So at the bottom here we have boundary conduction mode and this is the inductor current. It's going to start from exactly zero, go up during DT, hit its peak value, and then come back down during the rest of the period and exactly hit zero here. So to calculate this peak value, we need to know the average inductor current. But what is that value? Let's look at the schematic to try to understand. So we'd like to figure out the average inductance value here. So we're going to say inductance value here, going through the inductor, going downward. But to do that, we need to use Kirchhoff's current law to figure out what currents are going into it. And we're going to look at everything in terms of averages. So on the other side, this side here, we have a current coming in here. This is going to be the same as the average input current. So we can say average input current. That is going to be this average current here. And that will feed into here. But we also need to figure out what is coming from the diode side. This is our load. And remember, this is a positive and negative. So current is going in the counterclockwise direction. So the average current here is actually going to be the output current, because that's as to our load. And we know the average current through a capacitor in steady state is going to be zero. So no current is going to flow through here. And all of that current is going to go through here. So then the average current here is also going to be the average output current. So that's the current coming into here. So now we have the two currents defined before, and we can rewrite this inductor, average inductor current as the average of the input current plus the average of the output current. So with that, we can now start writing the inductor equation to find the critical inductance. So let's start with the inductor equation. V equals L, and we're going to go right into delta I over one period and delta T over one period. So we're going to pick one of the switch on and switch off phases, and we're going to go with the switch on. So that's when this switch is on. We have a current going through here. It's going through this inductor and through the input. So that means the voltage over the inductor is going to be V in. So let's start writing that out here. So we're going to say V in is equal to, and we're calculating the critical, so we're going to put crit. We want the change in the inductor current, so we're going to put I peak here. And we're looking at the first one, so it's a DT, that's the time period. So what is I peak? Well, I peak is simply going to be double of the average uh, value here. So we're still on L crit over dt, that doesn't change. But this one's going to be two times the average value, which is the average input current plus the average output current. OK, and now let's rewrite this so that L crit is by itself. Output current, oops, either one is fine, and input current. You can do either of those first. Okay, so this expression will work if you know your input current and your output current. Let's go a little bit further, and we're going to assume that we have a resistor load here of resistance R. So that is our load. So we can take this calculation a little bit further, but first we have to figure out our input and output currents. Let's start with the input current here. So for the side calculation, we want to do the average input current, and we're going to do power balance. So actually, we're going to start with the power input, which is going to be VI times this input current, and that's going to be equal to the output power. I O times V out, the average output voltage. Okay, 
So then we can just rewrite this here. Input is equal to uh, average V out I O over V in. Okay, so that's one way to write it. And we're also going to want to rewrite the output current. Output current, we can use the Ohm's law to figure out that that is V equals IR. So it's going to be V, the average output voltage, over your resistance. So this one can go into here. So here we can put in our values. Let's just start with V out, keep that the same. And then plus, we're going to put in this value. So it's going to be the O over VI. And then we're going to have the I out here. And you notice we have this on both sides inside the parentheses. So we can then simplify. one plus the output voltage here input current finally we can put this value and move it into our average output current and let's just run that real quick for two and we're going to get v out i'm going to move the r up here and then we get one plus average V out over input current. You can use the CCM equation to calculate the output voltage. Then you should be able to calculate your critical inductance value here for a resistive load. So here we look at the critical inductance for a buck boost converter. And we start with the inductance current weight form at the bottom, and we're exactly in BCM. And the peak value is going to be double the average inductor current, and the average inductor current is going to be the average input current plus the average output current. So once you have that, you can plug it into your inductor equation, get the general form, which is shown uh, here, and then this more specific form for the resistive uh, load is shown down here. So if you increase the inductance above the critical value, you'll be in CCM, critical conduction mode. If you decrease the value below the critical inductance, you'll be in discontinuous conduction mode or DCM.